What's going on, Spidey fans? It's your boy, Gem Mint, and today we're going to take a glimpse into the future. That's right, we got our hands on an early copy of the Spider-Man 2099 Volume 2 Omnibus. You may have caught my video on Volume 1 where I read it front to back, and it's one of my favorite Omnis of all time. They're continuing with this character and this author, Peter David, tackling the character over multiple decades in one of my favorite and best formatted Omni volumes so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, but before we do, if you guys are looking to pick up any Omnis, Absolutes, Collected Editions, and if you're in the States, you got to check out our sponsor, OrganicPriceBooks.com. They have great packaging, super fast shipping. You can pre-order so you don't miss out on your favorite covers or books, and you can save $2 every time by using code GEMMINT at checkout. If you're in the EU, I got you covered as well. Use comicsbugle.com. You'll also save two bucks using that same code at checkout. They also have pre-orders, and I love the fact that you pre-order now, but you don't pay until it's ready to ship. They have eco-friendly packaging, customer service guaranteed to respond to you within 24 hours, and they even include little gifts in every order. So if you're looking to pick up any of these books, organicpricebooks.com if you're in the States, Comics Bugle if you're overseas, let's jump in to the Omni. All right, guys, so volume two for Spider-Man 2099, it releases on May 21st, so you still have quite a while away. This is the direct market variant by Pasquale Ferry. The regular cover is the cover for Spider-Man 2099, issue number one, the new volume. Let's take a look at the spine. Actually, let's go ahead and bring out volume one to see what the spines look like together. Beautiful. Going to look great on the shelves. Again, I'm not really sure if the image of Spider-Man changes based on if it's the variant or not, but these two line up pretty nice with volume one here and, of course, volume two. So what's really dope about this Omnibus series is that it's Spider-Man 2099 by Peter David, but it spans across multiple decades. Volume 1 is the original 90s run, collecting the entire 46-issue series, plus bonus material. This one starts off, well actually, it does have 90s material as well. It has the 2099 Unlimited issues, which I actually never got a chance to read, the ones that have Miguel O'Hara in it. But then it also has the new volume, like I mentioned, uh, issues 1 through 12 from 2014. Then from 2015, there is a 25-issue series. It has the three-issue Captain Marvel series with beautiful connecting covers by J.H. Williams III. So that's Captain Marvel 27 through 30, which I haven't read. Then you have Superior Spider-Man 17 through 19. And I want to say that's when we first got Miguel back into the 616 after a long hiatus. I'll talk about that a little bit more as we get into it. Secret Wars 2099, 1 through 5, and uh, yeah, those unlimited issues that I mentioned. The 2099 unlimited is issues 1 through 3 and 8 through 10. It also has Amazing Spider-Man issue 1 from 2014 and issue 1 from 2015. So this would be after Dan Slott killed off Spider-Man, after Superior Spider-Man, where Peter comes back and they were, you know, renumbering and giving him new number ones and new volumes. You know, I think I forgot to show the inside of the dust jackets for the last omnibus haul I did. But as always, it lets you know where we're at in the story. So the original run was in the future in Nueva York in 2099. But in this omnibus, Peter David brings Miguel into our time with Spider-Man and Superior Spider-Man. So we also get a biography on Peter David plus Will Sliney. Not a wraparound cover, but we do have some nice graphics on the hardcover here, including Miguel in the newer Spider-Man 2099 suit. Classic one on the spine. Very nice. Let's open up here to some black cover pages. Lovely pinup here. Then we have the table of contents, kind of, slash credits. Doesn't really give you the page numbers, but this is the order of the book. That's what threw me off about the back of the book, because it mentions... Uh, his ongoing series first, but really what's collected in here first are the 90s 2099 Unlimited stuff with Hulk and a bunch of other characters. So I definitely want to uh, dig my hands into this because I've read everything else in this book besides this stuff that I just never came across as a kid in the 90s. And that's one of the reasons I think why I'm such a big fan of Spider-Man 2099. I mean, this came out, I was at the peak age, man, and I would go into comic shops and dig through long boxes, and these were the issues that you would see. I loved that gatefold poster that they had of uh, Peter and Miguel 
from, what is it, one of those um, 35th or hologram cover anniversary issues. So this is going to feel very familiar to Volume 1, even though I don't believe it's Rick Leonardi. No, but it has a very similar art style. Page numbers at the bottom. Get the covers before each issue. Oh, Chameleon 2099. So yeah, I'm super excited to jump into this stuff. And the fact that they're doing more 2099 Omnis, like X-Men is coming out soon. I can't wait to see uh, what else they collect. All right, so then we get into the Captain Marvel stuff. So it'll show us the connecting covers in the back. But here you can see the cover for issue 27. So I take it back. I have not read this either. I've read all of the modern stuff that Peter David did. Here goes uh, the cover for 29. So a little Spider-Man 2099 story with Maestro here. All right, so I am a huge fan of Spider-Man 2099. I jumped on into reading new comics right when Dan Slott was writing Spider-Man. I think it was early on in his run. So it was very exciting for me to go to the comic shop every week and uh, see this Dan Slott run, and he eventually kills off Spider-Man and does Superior Spider-Man. And as I'm reading Superior, they bring back one of my favorite characters within this run. So that's what's next. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 shows up in Superior Spider-Man uh, 17. I think he lasts for a couple of issues. And this is where Miguel is brought into the current times, and he's interacting with uh, Superior Spider-Man. They also did a lot of uh, fan service stuff around this time because they had brought back uh, Kane as Scarlet Spider. I was reading the Venom Rick Remender run. I got in uh, on issue one. And here is the cover for the regular dust jacket. Like I said, when he got his new series, the first time since the 90s in 2014, I kind of would have rather had this for the Omni, but I was never really a fan of this cover. The interiors are dope, man. Nice, clean artwork bringing Spider-Man 2099 into the modern times. Man, this cover I loved. I always loved painted covers. Iconic cover, and I can't wait till we get to the variants because at this time, I was also picking up like every single variant. There was just a lot of great stuff out at the time. So the more modern style, you can see Miguel's face behind the mask there. Yeah, then we have this whole slew of painted covers going up against Scorpion. Remember this one? Man, great. This run had amazing covers. Just regular covers, too. Great variants, though, too. Like I said, we'll, we'll go in the back and see that. Punisher 2099. The modern run was really great. It's been a while since I read it. The Maestro storyline. Yeah, so I think, yeah, this is where he gets thrown into the future, where Maestro is king. Man, I'm so happy that they are publishing this stuff now. And they did it. it this is one of the best mapped omnibus volumes, like <laughs> going from the 90s stuff to the current stuff, but it's all themed around this character. Here goes Spot, who, man, my daughter's a huge fan of Spot. Ended up playing a, a role in the, in the animated movie. What is it, Into the Spider-Verse? So you get those two runs of Spider-Man 2099. Here we are in the new updated costume. Here's the actual image from the hardcover. Here he goes in action in the new suit. So I might be a little bit biased. <laughs> I know that a lot of folks in my Facebook group tried to get into the first omnibus and they didn't like it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This is the best thing ever. It might just be a lot of nostalgia for me. And then even this series, like um, I, I liked it. I thought it was fun. Maybe not everybody would love it. Love me some Venom and Goblin 2099. They ended up using so many of these newer characters for like video games as well. Even this suit, I'm pretty sure, were in recent Spider-Man games. There's a futuristic cap. Issue 14. This is part of the Civil War 2099 storyline. I'm just a sucker for futuristic stuff. I love Batman Beyond. I love this version of Spider-Man. And I'm telling you, that gatefold poster, that had a lot to do with it, man. I just love the depiction of the character. Issue 20, again, amazing covers throughout this whole series as well. All right, let's get to the variant cover gallery because there's a ton of nostalgia there for me. Uh, here goes uh, Miles, Peter, and Silk. Man, huge fan of Venom 2099 as well, man. 
Again, Peter David, he's got to be the most published omnibus author out there. The J.G. Jones variant for Spider-Man 2099, uh, Superior Spider-Man 17. They also had a uh, ASM 316 homage, Oliver Copiel. I had this one for sure, the AF-15 variant. A lot of J.G. Jones stuff. The J. Scott Campbell three cover connecting. I had this one, which was ASM one. This was the return of Peter Parker, Superior Spider-Man thirty one, and then uh, Spider-Man twenty ninety nine issue one. Loved this connecting cover set. I definitely had that. I definitely have this Scotty Young variant. Here's another Pasquale Ferry cover. This one I had. I was a huge fan of, and this was when I was like just back into comics. I thought every painted cover was Alex Ross. <laughs> Oh, Rick Leonardi doing an updated uh, Spider-Man 2099. Rick Leonardi is a underrated artist that we don't show enough love to, man. I'm a huge fan of Rick's stuff. More Pasquale Ferry. Uh, John Tyler for Christopher, kind of a different style. I think he would go on to do a lot of those action figure covers after this, right? But it's cool to see him doing something a little bit regular. You've got like this hexagon pattern throughout the whole costume. This is a uh, homage cover here by Greg Land. This was part of the Deadpool thing that was going on during that month. More Rick Leonardi. Ron Lim. Pretty cool. ASM1. So this was the new updated costume for Peter. Mark Bagley. Uh, this is a Rick Leonardi piece. I believe this is an homage, too, that they did multiple versions of this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, design variant. Oh, you got the hip hop variant of Fu Chan. Damn, what cover is this supposed to be? Looks like he's throwing it west side. Declan Shelby and Jordi Belair doing a cover. Cool. Yeah, so here we go. This is uh, for issue four of Spider Man 2099. I don't know why they chose this one for the dust jacket cover. I mean, I think there's a lot of them that could have been used that were better. Some interior pages for. Uh, 2099 Unlimited 9. In this new dawn of digital creating, you don't really see that anymore. Here's that wraparound cover. J.H. Williams III and Jose, uh, what is that, Via Ruba? Yo, this guy is crazy. I feel like I first found out about him reading Promethea, I want to say. And then anywhere you go, he's got such a distinct style, uh, very like collage type of um, look to it. Very cool. Some Peter David scripts in the back. Here, oh, here, look at this. <laughs> so you, oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I was stand corrected. You do have some modern original pages. And here's some designs. Spidey, uh, Spidey. Venom 2099. Oh, sketch covers by Francisco Matina. Yeah, that's who was doing these covers. Francisco Matina, that's right. Beautiful covers. And there we go. Real quick, this one is brought to you by ThatSpiderManBooth.com. Their February monthly subscription box is live. Not only do you get five comics, $100 of retail value for just 50 bucks, but you're going to get two additional comics this month. They teamed up with my boy Comic Tom and Fire Guy Ryan for their crash down issue number one, the Gerald Perel variant. The regular Virgin and Foil are all limited to 100 copies, and there are only 10 medals. Everyone who subscribes to the box is going to get that regular edition, and then it's going to be a mystery on whether or not you get the virgin, the foil, or the metal. Swing on over to that spidermanboot.com and sign up for that subscription box today. All right, definitely nostalgic for me. Not only do I love this character from when I was a kid going into comic shops, but getting back into the hobby, hitting the comic shop every Wednesday, and this was the stuff that was on the shelves, and it was like, was this for me? <laughs> like, how did they know that I love this character as I'm reading Superior Spider Man? And uh, Venom by Rick Remender, which seriously needs an omnibus. I mean, come on already. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about Volume 2 in the comments down below. Were you one of the guys that read Volume 1 and hated it? If so, move this man! No! no, but let me know what you think in the comments below, and I appreciate you guys watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.